Alright guys, me and Calvin are here with none other than Monique Billings. She plays for Atlanta Dream in the WNBA and we're going to be getting to know her. So we're going to ask a couple questions and Cal's going to start us off. Monique, 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 Charisse <laughs> Billings, that's correct? Yeah. In college, right, you were two-time on the All-Pac-12 team, right? Um, two-time All-Defensive, right? Honoree. So, I wanted to ask you, oh wait, actually let me include this last stat in there too. Um, looking into it, you were actually ranked first in UCLA women's basketball for all-time blocks okay. with 228. You did your homework. I did. You sure did. You know. So, let me ask you this. How much does defense mean in your game? Defense is everything. Mm -hmm. I've learned that defense leads to offense, so mm -hmm. it's important to um, get stops, get stops, and that makes plays. And um, it gets the team going, it gets me going, so yeah, defense is big for me. And who would you say, maybe de defensively or offensively, mm -hmm. who would you say that you model your game after? Who are you inspired by? It can be WNBA, it could be NBA, it could be any athlete. It's a great question. So Dennis Rodman, mm. all-time favorite. Oh, okay. Defensively. okay, I love that. Yeah, I just love his energy, his mm -hmm. tenacity. He's scrappy. The word. And the word. <laughs> like, no sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll watch. I literally will watch Dennis Rodman highlights before a game or after a game just to kind of like get, get into my zone yeah. and to kind of get that channel my inner worm. I guess. You mm. say. Okay, yeah. I, love that. I like that. The word. The only worm I got is gummy worms. So. <laughs> Those are good too. Those are good too. Sour. Keep them sour. <laughs> so you know, in basketball, especially the league, right? There can be like a veterans like to give you that like welcome to the league moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, what was your welcome to the league moment? I never was humbled in that way because I would say I'm a pretty humble person. Um, but my moment was my third game. Okay. My rookie year playing against Maya Moore. Mm. Yes. Ooh, wow. So we her obviously, Maya. yeah, her and the Minnesota Lynx, crazy good team. Mm -hmm. um, my team, we were good too, but I'm the only rookie on my team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going <laughs> against Maya Moore. Like, yeah. can I have your autograph? But also, it? let me play defense. Uh -huh. You know, so it was one of those moments. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you realize, like, man, I'm really playing against her. <laughs> really, like, really, 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 and we here. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I love it. I love it. Let me go into your international time, okay? So, I know that you played in South Korea, you played in Israel, yes. and then most recently you played in Russia. You were, you were uh, averaging double-doubles, you were scoring. If you were to say, out of those places, or any other places you've been, right, if it wasn't the United States, where would you see yourself spending most of your time if it wasn't here? Hmm. Well, yes, I'm a world traveler. I mm -hmm. love culture, love experiencing traveling. Istanbul. I love Istanbul. Istanbul, mm -hmm. Turkey. I actually went there last year. Just not, Well, I had a break. I had like a week break from Russia. Yeah. So I was like, let me go travel and went to Istanbul. I love it. It's kind of like a mixture of LA, San Francisco, New York. Like, oh, wow. Crazy energy, good food. Would it's just that. always like vibing and it's just uh -huh. always on. So yeah, Istanbul, it definitely has my heart. What was the favorite thing you ate? There's um, a restaurant there. Are you guys familiar with Salt Bay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. This oh, is Salt Bay. Come on, dog. Salt Bay. Come on. Let's Let's another go. life. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I went to that restaurant. I don't know how to say it, That's but right. went there. Dope experience. They did the the whole shebang. Uh -huh. The steak was really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So Mo, uh, the WNBA was founded in 1996, and uh, you guys started in 1997. Yeah. The question I have is, where do you think the league will be 10 years from now? It's crazy. Mm. The league is 25 years old. That is crazy. I'm me. turning 25, so oh, this is the league, yeah. you know? But I'm just grateful that the league has made it this far. Uh -huh. and it just, the future is so bright. Yeah. Not only with the players and the talent that will be coming in, but just the way that the league is moving, the support that we're getting mm -hmm. from male players and just mm -hmm. everyone, you know, people are really starting to appreciate women's basketball and mm -hmm. see how hard we work. So I see the future being bright for the league and yeah. I'm hoping that there's going to be so much more visibility in the future just so the girls who are working so hard to Absolutely. make it to this point have that opportunity to be seen.
Let's ask you this, Mel. How did you actually get started in basketball? So when I was about five, my dad asked me one day, he was like, how do you feel about playing basketball? Like, do you want to play? At the time, I was super girly like I am now, mm -hmm. but like I only wore dresses. I was not trying to break a nail. Like mm -hmm. it just not really <laughs> it. It didn't sound yeah. appealing to me, but I wanted to make him happy. Mm -hmm. So I tried it out and I loved it and I never looked back. I had a lot of fun. Dang, yeah. that's hype. Yeah. Okay, oh okay, dope. Your dad told us actually, um, a significant experience for you was being a third grader mm -hmm. on a fifth grade uh, basketball team. Yeah. Um, how was that? Man, I mean, that's so long ago to <laughs> even think about, yeah. but I think it was so good for me just mm -hmm. maturing and being around older people to learn from and to yeah, yeah, yeah. gain wisdom from and mm -hmm. then physically like having to go against girls who are bigger, taller, okay. um, great experience. Yeah. And so it's funny because like all my friends now are just older than me. And yeah. I feel like a lot of it has to do with growing up like that, uh -huh. being a third grader, playing with fifth graders, and just always playing on an older team. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 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 This sounds crazy because it's so far like apart, but those sound similar, like being a third grader on a fifth grade team and then being a rookie in the yes. WBA, like mm -hmm. you had to show your own, you had yeah. to like make sure that everyone knew like, yeah. hey, Mo, Mo can who, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, some slight, it's a mentality, like you definitely yeah. have to show why you deserve to be there. Yeah. You know, I made it here for a reason, uh -huh. let me show you why. And I'm all about showing rather than telling. So mm -hmm. I, I like that, yeah. yeah. Let the game speak for itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. yeah, I've just been really, really blessed. God's Ooh. put me in so many good situations to where it's worked out and I made it here. 20 years later, Dude, you know? praise God. That That's awesome. awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go into just little tidbits about you, all right? Hmm. Let's start off with your favorite food. So, we know that your favorite food mm -hmm. is the donut burger. Yes. Yep. Okay. Correct. But real question is, where are we supposed to try a donut burger? Where? <laughs> my favorite place to get a donut burger in Southern California is called Oh My Burger. Oh My Burger. Yes. Oh My Burger. Oh My Burger. You write this down, bro? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm really writing this down. Oh My Burger in El Segundo, black owned mm -hmm. restaurant. Okay. Super cool okay. people. They also have peach cobbler milkshakes, so I get a donut burger. What? Peach cobbler milkshakes and oh. garlic fries. <laughs> Yo! We got it. We're in there, bro. <laughs> We're in there. I didn't know they turned those into milkshakes. Oh like my that. god, bro. That sounds crazy. They do that. It's fire, bro. That's crazy. And your favorite restaurant, though? We go into the Mastro's. Yes! Okay, Dude, let's go here. Tell me about that. What's, what is it? The experience, the food, is everything? All the above. All the above. Love the steak, the okay. butter cake. Mm -hmm. I'm a foodie, so anything, yeah. good mm. food, good experience, good vibes, I'm with it. Yeah. Mm. Butter cake, butter, butter cake, butter love. I got ready to for sure. I'm ready. <laughs> we, heard you, we heard your favorite movie is White Man Can't Jump. Yes. What? Okay, give us the lowdown. Why is it your favorite movie? I love the aesthetic of the 90s. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I love that vibe. Absolutely. Obviously, it's a basketball movie. Mm -hmm. Acting was good. I love, you know, the hustle mentality. Yeah. So, it's a classic. Okay. okay. Shout out Wesley Snipes. Shout out Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know what? White men can jump. Yes. Yeah, they can. Uh, NBA dunk contest 1996. Oh. Brent Berry. Ripper. See, you pulling us Red Berry, bro. I wasn't exactly. even born. No. Hey, bro, that's Were you born? <laughs> I was not. There you go. I was not. And then he went from that free throw dunk, bro. He, he, he's playing that thing? White men can jump. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about how you actually got introduced hmm. over here in kinematics physical therapy. How, how did you how did you get introduced to us? Why did you come in here to visit us? Yeah. So I had like a lingering hamstring pain. I'm okay. not even going to mm -hmm. say injury, but just a pain. Mm -hmm. No one could identify what was going on. You know, I was still strong and I had my strength, but when I ran, it just felt like there was like a rubber band pulling me back. It was mm -hmm. a terrible experience. And so I was... Um, preferred to come to see Matt mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that I did and so mm -hmm. glad that I did because he was able to identify the problem. The problem went away, never came back. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, Matt, you're stuck with me from now on. <laughs> Any other issues that I have? Uh -huh. Yeah, he was really able to help me out and take care of the body. 
Absolutely, I love it. Dang, we brought that up. Yeah. That's what we promote, just taking care of your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. All right, so I love to shop. Okay. And I love thrift shopping. Yeah. Mm. And we heard you're a thrift shopper too, so we want to know one of your favorite thrift stores. So the best thrift stores that I have found are in Atlanta. Oh. Yes, Atlanta has some really, really good thrifting. Okay. There's a store called Ragarama. Ragarama, <laughs> writing it down. Yeah. Hold on one second. Okay. And it's just like vintage stuff. I love okay. vintage stuff. So from different time pieces, a lot of 90s stuff, yeah. a lot of 70s, 80s, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Our parents' clothes, basically. Yeah. But um, yeah, I love it. The thrifting in Atlanta, it's not like hyped up. Like in LA, I feel like mm -hmm. thrift stores will the good thrift stores. Yep. They'll take certain clothes and mark up the prices. Of course they will. It's not yeah. fun. Dummy anymore. expensive. You know? Yeah. Sheesh. Super expensive. So it's not like that in Atlanta. It's not mm -hmm. all hyped up like that. You ever been to Plato's Closet around here? I have. Okay. But That's I'm telling you, Atlanta puts all I know. the shame. Really? Absolutely. Buffalo yeah. Exchange. Buffalo all that puts all the Yeah. Okay. Buffalo all right. All right. Stuff. All right. Okay. Those are like okay. hyped up to me. Mm. Yeah, 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 they kind of hacked up. Okay. How do you know you came up on an item? So you pick something and you're like, sheesh, I don't know how no one cop, cop this. Like, yeah. like, how you know? How you know is if no one else has it. Like, mm. I've never seen anyone else with a certain item. Yeah. And I have it, I'm like, wow, like, this Dang. is exclusive. Like, I'm yeah. the only one with this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, well, we might just pull up to Atlanta and just... I know, but just the thrift shop. You know what I mean? Just That's the thrift shop. You're going to have to show us how to rag a rama. For sure. <laughs> 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 For sure. <laughs> okay, okay. How about we'll finish off with this? You know, obviously, you're playing basketball. You know, you gotta have good IQ. Yeah. So we're gonna test you out with some riddles. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna go off this first one, okay? Let's put the brain to the test. Okay. <clears throat> we're in the middle of April, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. what, we, what is seen in the middle of March and April? that can't be seen at the beginning or end in either month. Can you give me a hint? Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Um, I think maybe if you're thinking about this and you're thinking about the month, mm -hmm. March and April, I think what you're originally gonna think in terms of what you think of that concept is probably a little bit too far. So we want to think, what is in the middle of March and April? April? <laughs> <laughs> Zero <laughs> for one. <laughs> what is it? All right. M-A-R-C-H-A-P-R-I-L. Uh, you got an R in the middle. Dang, okay. That's a tough one. Yeah, that is a tough one. one. They call right. him the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one. We got one riddle left for you, Mo. Okay. okay. Ten birds are sitting on a telephone wire. One guy shoots one bird down. How many birds are left? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know Ten birds are left? <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. We're gonna read it again. It no. didn't say he died. Ten birds are left. A left on the on the telephone pole or left period? Mm, on the on the telephone wire or the the yeah telephone mm -hmm. wire. Pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nine. So you said nine? No, it's neither ten nor nine. I'm terrible at riddles. Um, is it a number? I don't. There's yeah, it is a number. I'm just gonna say. Yeah. Just think about the situation. What would happen? The bird dies. The bird dies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Oh, they all flew away. They all flew away. <laughs> there is zero no, birds at the hall. Yeah, I think the birds are just sitting there chilling. Bro, like, I mean, <laughs> you got shot. I'm going to just stay here. Home, you got shot. And they just, R.I.P. <laughs> Just out here posing. Yo. Out here posing. Hey man, RIP, young man. man. What? <laughs> uh, well, hey, she figured out with a couple hints. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, and we seen that in her basketball. So, <laughs> hey, um, it was a real pleasure just to have you here, um, to have people understand you as a person, not just the basketball part of you, but you mm -hmm. know the the beautiful things about you as a person, how you grew up, 
to be a, the great person you are. So we're thankful. Thank you, guys. One hundred percent. You're joy in the clinic, and we wish you the best for your upcoming season. Thank Absolutely. You so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking care of my body and mm -hmm. just making sure I have a good environment to thrive in. Of course, yeah, of, course. of course, anytime. Yeah. All right, Ragarama. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay.